Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate how to construct a skirt. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is bring in one of the clothes default avatars. You can find the avatars in your library folder. Once my avatar is in my workspace, I can then bring in my DXF file. I have my DXF pattern within my Clo library, allowing me to double click to bring in my file. Once the patterns are brought in, I will then start to organize them in my 2D window. These are the waistbands, the front is here and the back. And here's the back. Now I will start to sew my pattern pieces together. I will sew my pattern pieces together using the free sew tool. Since my front pa panels are going to be symmetrical, I then can just select my patterns and create a symmetric copy. My back patterns are not symmetrical, so I will not create a symmetric copy here. By right clicking, I can then create a symmetric copy. I am now just going along the rest of my skirt to sew it up. I'm now going to sew this waistband. This is the front of the waistband. I'm paying attention to my notch direction while I'm sewing this. Now that I've finished sewing, I am going to place my pattern pieces onto the avatar using arrangement points. Before I go to my arrangement points, I'm going to use Reset 2D Arrangement to get my patterns in my 3D window to look like my patterns in my 2D window. Now I'm going to switch to Thin Textured Surface so that I can see the back of my fabric easily. And now I will go to my toggle menu to turn on my arrangement points. Using these points, I can place my pattern pieces onto my avatar. I can adjust my pattern pieces further by using my property editor over here and adjusting the offset and positions of my pattern piece. Pressing 8 will get me to my back view. Turning off my avatar and arrangement points, I can then check my sew lines. So here I'm going to hide my avatar. Now that my avatar is hidden, I can check all my sew lines to make sure they're straight. I can turn my avatar back on. Now I have to sew the inside waistband. I'm going to use my free sew tool to sew the edges of my waistband together. Since these pieces should lay flat, I'm going to change the sew type to turn. 
I can do this over in my property editor. I'm now going to select my pattern piece and instead of arranging it, I'm going to go into my 3D window, right click and superimpose under. This will then place it underneath my pattern. Now I have simulated my skirt. And the next step is just finishing up some final details. Selecting the hem and right clicking to offset the pattern outline to create the turn back that I want. I'm going to use my edit pattern tool to select my hem lines. I'm now going to right click and offset as pattern outline. I would like a one inch turn back, so I'm going to put one inch and I'm going to make sure that my side segment type is mirrored. And then I'm going to hit OK. Now I have my one inch, but I needed to create a line to sew my turn back to. So I'm going to reselect my hemlines, right click, and offset as internal lines. I'm going to make this one inch again, but I'm going to create two of these and hit OK. I now have all the lines I need to do a fold back. I'm going to turn on my internal lines so that I can easily see these lines to turn them back. Before I turn back, I'm going to sew all of my relationships together. Since all of these sewing relationships will be facing each other, I'm going to change the sew type to turn. You can see in this image what the difference is between turned and flat sewing. Flat is your custom angle and turned is your turned angle. This image will help you understand more clearly what the differences are. Now the last thing I'm going to sew is this part here. and just make sure I have finished my hems. And turning all of these angles. Now I can go into my fold arrangement tool in my 3D window to fold my hem back. As you can see, I can use the arrows to just fold my hem completely back. Once this is set, I can simulate and I'll see my skirt and I have a fold back hem. Now that my skirt is all set, I'm going to get rid of the center front line. We're going to select all of the center front lines and right click and merge. This will get rid of that center front. Now let's apply the fabric. I have a rib in my fabric library that I'm going to use. I'm just going to drag and drop it over fabric one to replace the fabric one with this fabric. I'm going to turn this back to thick texture view and I'm going to select the, my interior waistband and add bonding. The bonding is going to act as a fusible. I can then simulate to see how this looks. I'm going to turn this down to particle distance of 5 to check to see how this skirt drapes. As you can see, you see the line of this hem. Now I would like this to look as a blind hem, so I want to get this line erased. You can do this with Inkflow. I'm going to have to be in my edit sewing tool to be able to get rid of this line. I'm 
Once I've selected my sewing relationship, this will then help me get rid of the line that you see. Over here in your property editor, you can change your normal map intensity to zero. This will then hide the line to make it appear as a blind bend back. Now I'm ready to change this garment to a high res. I'm going to use my high res garment here and hit OK. I'm then going to simulate and fit simulation. Once the garment has completely settled, you can then turn off simulation. Now you have an A-line skirt. You can continue to check it and if you want to make any changes you can, but this is good for me. Thank you for watching.